Well, 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 look what we have here. Celine Boutier back at the top of a leaderboard. I'm Hope Barnett and you're watching LPGA Now. Let's get into it. The French woman was dialed in during the second round in Singapore. She followed up her Thursday 73 with a Friday 64 and she leads by one. It feels like everything was uh, going the right way. I feel like especially my putting today was a little bit more um, efficient than yesterday, so I was able to take advantage of a lot of birdie opportunities. Her stats from round one are insane. She hit 13 out of 14 fairways and only had 22 putts on the entire day. Just let that sink in. Get all the way down to the flag, I don't think. Oh, hang on, Willow. Come on. Oh, come on. Keep going. but didn't get all the way to the flag, I was right. Celine Boutier is a major champion. And that birdie gets her to four under par. Five. She carded her sixth birdie of the day here on the fourth. And I mean, check out this lengthy downhill putt. Oh, and she does it as well. It was no problem for the sixth time winner. Trailing by one is Japan's Ayaka Furue, who was searching for her second win on tour. And she was pin seeking on Friday. Last I looked, this 15th hole is the most difficult hole on the golf course, and that's because of where the flag is, and it still is. Only two birdies here today. You're kidding me. So with those two in the top spots, let's take a quick look at the leaderboard. Madeline Sagstrom is in third, while we have Peyun Chin, Nasa Hataoka, Stephanie Kiriaku, Hyoju Kim, and Sarah Schmelzel all in the hunt at four under. At the end of last year, Madeline barely got into the CME Group Tour Championship. But now, things look a little different for her. She played in the final group in Thailand and is now in contention again in Singapore. I think last weekend was, uh, it was a long time ago since I played in the final group two days in a row. So I think it definitely hits some different emotions than I was used to doing. Um, it's a little, a little different when you play for 54th or trying to get a top 10. So I think uh, it, it was a very good place for me to be. I wasn't really ready to pull it out, pull it out yet, but um, I feel really comfortable now. I feel like just those two rounds um, kind of showed to myself that my game is in a good place. And I also kind of figured out what I needed to work on mentally those uh, last weekend just kind of get myself in it give myself chances and not uh, not trying to hit the break button like really kind of keep pushing while Madeline is in great form she's not the only one Nasa and Lynn Grant sunk some deep putts during round two and Nasa at the fourth birdie putt to this back left flag number one in birdies last year on the LPGA Tour and that's why and Patty was putting on a masterclass with her wedge game one under for the round to this point. She was three over at one point yesterday, and that drops for an eagle to move to minus two and just two behind. Ever so slightly. She couldn't possibly, could she? She could! There's a lot going on here in Singapore, but that's just how we like it. Tune in on Golf Channel and come back right here to catch a moving day recap of the HSBC Women's World Championship.